Captain Batham. The Ice Trap. This is complex, Director. Any word from the freighter Achilles yet? Uh, yes, sir. She was delayed by a storm, but expect to dock in about two hours. your glasses. Fifteen degrees off the starboard bow. Aye, aye, sir. How do you make it out, mister? Uh, it's either some kind of debris or... No, I make it out a life raft, Captain. Same here. Change course 12 points to starboard. Stand ready with a rescue boat. Four of them, Captain. They're still out cold. Exhaustion and shock, probably. Mm. A sorry looking mess, aren't they? Must have lost their vessel. Strange we didn't pick up a distress call. Ah, oh, well. Make them as comfortable as you can. <coughs> Look, Captain. They're beginning to come around. What? What's going on here? Hold you completely, did we, Captain? Perhaps we missed our calling. We should have been actors instead of. Pirates. Pirates? You should have been actors. We've got nothing to pirate here. Not as yet, Captain. But very, very soon your holds will be bulging with uranium ore, eh? <laughs> You're nuts if you think you can pull this off. You will do well to watch your tongue, Captain. We don't need you to manage this vessel. We are playing for high stakes and each of us is quite capable of murder. Remember this. If you and your crew hope to survive the experience, Roger, Western Mining, we are transmitting ID code and standing by. Our very good, absolutely. We have your code and now assuming guidance control. Switch over, please. Roger, WMT. Bridge, we now have guidance control. Acknowledge. Roger. Achilles Bridge standing by, WMT. Roger, Bridge. Your approach to mooring is looking good. Reduce engines to one third. Reducing to one third. Very good. You're in the approach slot. Maintain present heading and approach speed. Ordinarily, you are required to report to the dispatcher for your bill of lading. But this time it will be different. This time you will profess illness and request the dispatcher to report to you here. Make no mistake, Captain. One false move, and I shall not hesitate to kill the both of you. I believe you. All personnel, stand by to secure mooring and commence loading. Ready as you go. Stop engines. Secure all lines. Well, Captain Stern, the dispatcher has your papers and bill of lading waiting. Uh, WMT, Captain is ill. And uh, could the dispatcher make delivery to Captain's quarters? Roger, will do. All lines secure. Commence loading! Okay! Shoot secured! Let her go! Now, if you'll just sign here, Captain. I know where to sign. I've signed enough of these. You'll have to excuse my patient's bad disposition. He should be getting his rest. Of course. Hope you'll be feeling better soon, Captain. Good day, Doctor. Uh... Anna Rip. Doctor Anna Rip.
And here are the Achilles papers and bill of lading. Okay. Man, it's been a long day. Great Scott! Did you see this signature? Why, no, sir, I... Radio, get me Washington security control. Priority. Yes, sir. I see. Yes. No, don't do a thing until you hear from our investigative unit. r, &R give me a position on Captain Fathom. Scramble it. Communications, code red over red. 730, Argonaut and North Pacific by satellite relay. Scramble it. Scramble it. r, &R give me a position on Captain Fathom. Communications, code red over red. 730 Argonaut and North Pacific by satellite relay. Scramble it. Scramble it. It's a red over red communications, Captain. We're decoding now. Okay, let's have it. Proceed Western Mining Terminus, Complex 1-2, and conduct investigation. Red Triple A Authority, urgent. It's signed security control. Red AAA authority. That's like being supreme high mucky muck of the world. It has to be a world security problem. Western mining number 12. That's that big uranium mining complex. Heading 6-4 magnetic, range 943 miles. didn't know it, but our uranium ore freighters are all equipped with an ultra-high frequency identification code device. Oh, that's clever. Uranium ore is too valuable to risk losing. The loss of this particular shipment will set the World Space Program back three to six months. Have you maintained a track on the ID code signal? Oh, yes, sir, we have. Uh, it's presently headed for the Middle Ocean Arc, range about uh, 250 miles. Mm. She's making better than 21 knots. It'll take almost four hours to catch up at our closing rate. What about this man who was with Captain Stern when he signed these papers? Well, he seemed to be the captain's physician. A uh, Dr. Anarev. Short, stocky, about 50, wavy blonde hair. That sounds like Anarev. Anna. Spelled backwards, that's Piranha. Piranha, of course. Why, he... He'll get rid of your ore pronto and of the highest bidder. I'll need the Achilles ID code frequency and a graph of your tracking pattern. Scramble it. Yes, sir. Karana, they don't make them any rottener. Or craftier. You fixed on the Achilles position, Pee Wee? Right on the money, sir. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's too easy. Too much of a simple chase. Karana doesn't play that way. Constant blip, Captain. The Achilles is stationary. Range? Five miles. Not a thing. They've sunk her. Sunk her? Take us in close, Ronnie. Then we'll do a little scouting in the minifish. Captain, 
I'm getting a sensitometer reading. There's a bomb somewhere on that freighter. I'm getting garble and static on my head fat. How about you? Same here. Radio's on the blink, I guess. About 50 feet down on the bottom. Captain, do you receive me? Over. Skipper, for crying out loud, there's a bomb in that freighter. Oh, Argonaut, I know you're trying to raise us, but we don't receive too good. Is it important? You're going to be blasted out of the water. Is that important enough? There's a bomb. Better give it up. I still can't make you out. We'll let you know if we run into anything. The holes are wide open. I guess we know they took the ore before they sank her. What are we going to do? I know there's a bomb on that hook. It could go off any time. Can't swim after them. They've got the only pressure suits aboard. We haven't even got scuba gear? Nothing. But there's one thing we can do. The lifeboats are all missing. I hope Piranha have the humanity to set the crew adrift in them. As you know, there's a bomb in that sunk freighter and the skipper don't know it. We hurry, Scotty. Then hear this. We're going after him with the boat. And if the bomb goes off before we... Ah, skip it. <laughs> Captain? Uh, let's move in a little closer. Why, it looks like, like... A remote TV camera. Are we supposed to smile or something? Make an ugly face. Unless I miss my guess, Piranha is watching. Hey, the spot of the camera. Of course. Only an imbecile would miss it. And now, if he just takes the bait... There are no ifs. I know Fathom better than he knows himself. He'll take the bait, even when he knows he's taking it. Captain, you hear that? Sounds like... What the... There's a bomb in that freighter? Okay, team, we get the message. I said we read you. Now get my submarine out of here. Scramble it! Okay, he got it. What now, Captain? Let's scout around. That TV camera was short range. If anybody's watching pictures from it, they're not far off. What are we looking for, sir? I don't know. An underseas hideout, maybe. There wasn't much to show up on top. How about that iceberg up ahead? Uh, good place to start. Almost blindly, wouldn't you say? I know Fathom's way of thinking so well. There's practically no sport to this fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read me? Aye, Skipper. We're reading and tracking. These ruins are pretty clean. I think we can get good sensitometer response. Switching on. Switching on. We have good presentation, Captain. Limit your response to 15 feet. Roger. What's going on? 
We're transmitting the atomic count of elements as we pass over them. If we pass over precious metals, we'll know it instantly. Really? Honest engine. You want proof? Yes. Okay, let's hold up here. NAVCOM, I have a non-believer here. Tell us what you read. Where are we? Roger. Baked clay, that would be brick. Cement, iron, a lot of pewter, and pottery clay. Brass and copper, a lot of glass and, and cork. My guess is you're over the ruins of a tavern, sir. Well, don't guess. I want to know. Yes, sir. You're on the top of a tavern. Why, that's absolutely amazing. It's not always that easy. It takes a good head to interpret the reading. Well, thank you, sir. Get off the line, Pee-wee. I wasn't talking to you. Sorry, sir. Let's move on. Fort James is just across the street, wherever that is. <laughs> Coming in on the Fort James ruins. Be alert, NAVCOM. I said. Nothing yet? Nothing unexpected, Captain. We're passing over a lot of hollow space. Big room, some guy. A dungeon. Keep with it. Sir? Okay. What have you got? I don't know. Could you maybe go back? That's it. I read 195 to 198, Captain. That's platinum or gold under you. No, I don't buy platinum. How strong is it? Wait a minute. Real strong, sir. I lowered the limit five feet, and now I'm getting 107.88 true. That's silver. And barrel. That's good enough, Pee-wee. It doesn't look like anything. It might have been a powder magazine or a granary. There has to be an entrance. <laughs> It looks like a devil's flight in the center of the earth. Why don't you wait here, Cash? That's to that lover. Okay, then stick close. I think we found something, but it's a dead end jammed with silt. I'm using Cash's jet bottle to try and blow it clear. And we're getting somewhere. We found ourselves a door. Skipper, that blast! Did it hit near you? Captain, this is Sky. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Captain, are you okay? Can you answer? Skipper, this is Sky. Captain, for crying out loud. Wait, Scotty. Skipper? Okay, I'm awake. Quit your yelling. Cash? Oh, oh. Easy now. Feel anything broken? Oh, boy. Somebody put a big tree right in the middle of that ski jump. That's okay. You fixed them, baby. You went right through their stupid tree. No. No, no more trees. Heads are full of snow. Please, I don't want to ski anymore. Please. Okay. I just want to cuddle up by the fire and get warm and toasty. Skipper? What's happened there? This caroon doesn't sound... We either walked into a booby trap or somebody tried to knock us off. The blast scrambled Miss Calhoun's marbles. Oh, no. Can you get out of there, Captain? What can we do? Well, give me a minute to think. The way we came in is sealed off. Now, why would somebody do that if there's treasure in here? Unless there's another way out. What? Well, there's the treasure. Petey, what is it? You name it, it's here. We're in a vault of some kind. The iron door we came through had never been opened. Well, there must be another way. Something else. Here's where somebody's been trying to cut through from the outside. 
drill hole through the wall. I just about had it made, too. Can you do anything with it, Skipper? I'm going to try. Getting out my plastic nitro. You still got a bearing on us? Yeah. Better get over here and stand ready if I need you. We're moving. Steer 167, magnetic. Right. Go easy. It's only 400 feet. Feet! Yo! You and Freddy claim it to pressure suits. Stand by in the airlock ready to jump out. Roger. Okay, it's done. Where are you, Scotty? Coming in right over here, Captain. You didn't juice it too much, did you, Captain? That's a mess of bricks to come down on you. I hope not. Stand by. Get him out! I'm okay. Take care of her. There are a couple of souvenirs I, I want here. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I've called you together to announce that I'm terminating all further investigation into the mystery of Morgan's ghost. Each of you has been most directly concerned with the mystery. You, Smithson, as harbor master. You, Black, as customs inspector. And you, Wanamaker, as prefect of police. I, uh, heard rumor, my lord, of a disaster involving, uh, your submarine. So did I. Claim two lives, I believe. What's that? Oh, Morgan's bell, I suppose. Gentlemen, I am not announcing a disaster, but a success. The mystery is solved. Solved? Success? Of course. There was never any Morgan's ghost. It was Morgan himself. Avaster there. Open up this timber hatch. No, it can't be. What in the name of Raleigh? Earl Henry Morgan. Aye, my lord and gents. The same. Come to say I'll no longer be haunted. I've claimed me treasure and I'll be gone. No, no, it isn't. What's that you say? Be ye doubting me what? The treasure's mine. I found it. I worked for it. You can't. You can't. So, it was you. Look out. He's running. He... Ah! That's for knocking me squirrely. <laughs> That's your captain, madam, I presume? The same. Are you sure that's not really Morgan? 